Good day, dear attentive students at home. My name is Adebitolu Ayomindayo. The subject that I'm going to teach you today is literature in English. The aspect of literature in English of today's lesson is African drama. And the title of the text, that is the play, is Lion and a Jewel by Wale Shoyinka. In the course of today's lesson, students will be able to do the following. Number one, align the plot structure of the play. Number two, list the themes, that is the messages of the play. Number three, analyze the playwright style of uh, writing. Now, introduction. The play Lion and the Jewel by Wale Shoyinka is about Sidi, also known as the Jewel, and the Village Bell. The setting of the play is Ilujine, a remote village in Nigeria in the 60s. Sidi, the heroine of the play, happens to catch the attention of two popular men in the village, that is Baroka, the ballet of Ilujile, and Lakunle, the school teacher. It is Lakunle that first shows his interest in marrying Sidi before Baroka comes online. Now, the plot structure. The first scene of the play, that is morning, opens up in the center of the village, close to the school classroom. Teacher Lakunle rushes out of the classroom, seeing Sidi carrying a pail of water on her head. He challenges Sidi for carrying load on her head and dressing in an improper manner, which according to him is indecent. Lakunle proposes marriage to Sidi. Sidi agrees to marry him on the condition that he pays a bright price. He lacunle condemns the idea of paying bride price because it is barbaric and archaic. Some of the villagers comes on the stage to inform Sidi that a man known only as a stranger has returned to the village. The last time the stranger visited, he took photographs of Sidi and he has now returned with a copy of the magazine in which Sidi's pictures have been printed. Sidi gets to know that the pictures are beautiful. The villagers join together to do mimed and dance performance, telling the story of the stranger's previous visit to the village. Baroka interrupts the performance by joining them. At the end of the performance, Sidi drags Lakunle away to look for the stranger so that she can see herself in the magazine. Baroka alone on stage take, talks to himself that it has been five months since he has taken a new wife. The second scene, which is the new, comes up on a road in Ilujine, Sadiko, who is the most senior wife of Baroka, is sent by Baroka to woo Sidi. This is a great honor, according to Sadiko, but Sidi feels Baroka is too old. Sidi takes pride in a picture that is printed in the village magazine and announces that she is now too good to marry Lakunle and good to marry Baroka as well. The scene continues in Baroka's palace, where Sadiku returns to tell Baroka that Sidi has rejected his proposal. Baroka confesses to Sadiku that he has been impotent and had hoped that marrying a young woman would kill him. Baroka makes Sadiku promise not to tell anyone about his impotence. The third scene, which is the night, the final scene, Sadiku on the street of the village reveals the secret of Baroka's impotency to Sidi, who is greatly excited about the news. Sidi agrees with Sadiku to visit Baroka in order to mock him. Sadiku strongly goes against Sidi's idea of attending the dinner in invitation in but he couldn't stop her. On getting to Baroka's palace, Sidi that she has no knowledge of Sadiku's proposing to Sidi on his behalf. Baroka wittingly outsmarts Sidi by telling her that he is going to use his own printing machine to print stamp that will bear Sidi's a beautiful picture on it. Sidi innocently falls into Baroka's flatteries and ends up in Baroka's bed. Back in the village, Sadiku and Lakunle watch a mime dance performance, spreading the news of Baroka's impotence. Sidi shows up and is crying. Lakunle is scared and asks what is going on. Sidi then comes out to Sadiku that Baroka had fooled her, Sadiku, because he, Baroka, is not impotent at all. In spite of everything, Lakunle is still ready to marry Sidi. The only thing there is that he will not have to pay the bride price after all. Sidi turns down Lakule's offer. Sadiku follows Sidi and then returns to Lakule, who is shocked that everything is moving fast. When Sadiku tells him that Sidi is preparing herself for wedding, Sidi returns and laughs at Lakule 
for believing that she will marry him. Sidi kneels before Sadiku to give her blessing in her marriage to Sadiku. Sidi exits the stage singing with a group of singers that accompanies her to Baroka's palace. I will pause here while we go for a short break. Thank you. Don't go away. You are welcome back to the second segment of today's lesson. We continue our lesson now by highlighting the themes in the play. And they are number one, theme of cultural conflict. Number two, theme of love and marriage. Number three, theme of pride. Number four, theme of deceit. Number one, theme of cultural conflict. This is evident in the play. There is a conflict between tradition and modernity. Teacher Lakunle represents modernity, while Baroka the ballet of religion represents the tradition. Lakunle is against CD carrying pail of water on her head, an improper dressing of tying wrapper across the chest, which reveals part of her body. The ways of life of people of Ilujinle to Lakunle is very crude, especially the issue of bride price. He laments, and I quote, a savage custom, barbaric, outdated, rejected, denounced, accused, excommunicated, archaic, degrading, humiliating, unspeakable, redundant, retrogressive, remarkable, unspeakable, end of quotes. Lakune's dream is to transform Illuginate village into a modern city like Lagos. The ballet Baroka, on the other hand, bribes corrupt Sovio not to rule the train tracks through the land of Illugine, all because of his parochial idea about Western values. He is of the opinion that the Western values, that is lifestyle, will rob the villagers of their cultural values and tradition. The next theme is a theme of love and marriage. This theme is built around the conflicting traditional modernity. Lakunle is really captivated by the bells that is city's beauty and wants to marry her, but could not pay the bride price. To him, bride price is a barbaric idea. He believes in modern marriage and way of life. Baroka, on the other hand, decide to use the traditional way of proposing marriage by sending Sadiku to go and woo Sidi for him when he realizes that he has not taken a new wife in five months. Baroka is able to trick Sadiku and Sidi about his impotency. He seduces Sidi and rapes her, so automatically making Sidi to marry him and pays a bride price. The next theme is the theme of pride. This theme revolves around Sidi, who, after seeing that a picture is published in the village magazine, feels on top of the world. She is even competing with the ballet, the Baroka, that she is now more famous than him. Not only this, she is so proud of her beauty that there is no other beside her in Illuginate. This makes her to always more clackly to go and pay the bride price. She is the jewel of the play and also referred to as the village bell. Sidi's pride is heightened as a result of the magazine publication. This gives her the opportunity to challenge Baroka's impotency that finally leads to her losing her virginity. She has no choice than to marry Baroka. The next theme is a theme of a deceit. This is seen in the character of Baroka, the ballet of Illugine. When he sees Sidi's picture in the magazine, he realizes that he needs another wife. He asks Sadiku, the most senior wife in the palace, to go and woo Sidi for him. Sadiku comes back with the news that Sidi says the ballet is too old. He, ballet Baroka, then decides to play tricks on Sadiku and Sidi. And I quote, the time has come when I can fool myself no more. I am no man, Sadiku. My manhood ended near a week ago. End of quote. When Sidi eventually shows up at the palace for the dinner invitation, Baroka further seduces her by telling her, Sidi, that he will print Sidi's picture on the village local stamp that will be seen all over the world. This sweet word softens Sidi's heart and ends up in Baroka's arms, that is his bed. Baroka the ballet of Illugile is able to make Sidi his wife in a deceitful manner. 
Now, point of note. However, Lakunle sweet words in toasting CD can also be deceitful. He says, and I quote, Romance is the sweetening of the soul with fragrance offered by the stricken heart. End of quote. CD's response to this is rather very vulgar by calling him Lakunle a madman. I will pause here where we go for a short break. Thank you. Don't go away. You are welcome back to the last segment of today's lesson, which is an highlight of the style of writing. This has to do with the language, which is quite expressive. Some of these are, number one, there is use of humor, wit, sarcasm, and so on. An example of a comic situation is revealed in Lakunle's statement when he is condemning Baroka's attitude to illusionless progress. And I quote, for now, it is this village I shall turn inside out, beginning with that crafty rogue, your past master of well self-indulgence Baroka, end of quotation. Lakunle's assessment of the village women as of low intellect is another example. And I quote, women have a smaller brain than men. That is why they are called weaker sex, end of quotation. Another example is, Sidi also rates the strength of Baroka over Lakunle when she says, Out of my way, book nourished shrimp. Do you see what strength he, Baroka, has given me? For a man at 60, but you, Lakunle, at 60, you'll be 10 years dead. In fact, you will not survive the honeymoon, end of quotation. Lakunle also uses abusive words against Sadiku by calling her a hag. Another stylistic device is Lakunle makes use of bombastic language to show the people that he is a Western trained teacher. He regards the bright price as degrading, humiliating, excommunicated, redundant, and so on. Another style is the, the use of songs in the play. Instances are when Baroka is combating with the wrestler in his palace during the contest, CD sings, Yokolu, Yokolu, Kuatombi, Yawugbo, Konshole, Okoyoke. Then another style is there is use, there is a biblical allusion. An instance is when CD challenges Lakunle about where he gets the idea of transforming illusionly. He lacunly responds by quoting the Bible that a prophet has honor except in his own home. End of quotation. Lacunle also quotes Bible passage to support his modern marriage with Sidi. And I quote, And the man shall take the woman, and the two shall be together as one flesh. End of quote. Another style is dramatic and technique. And number one, the three unity of time place and action the composition of time is perfected in the sense that the whole incidences in the play takes place in one day it all happens that number one lakunle stops cd while fetching water in the morning number two sadiku helps baroka to woo cd in the afternoon and by night time cd ceases from being a maiden after falling into baroka's trap Another dramatic technique is flashback technique. This is effectively used to save time in the play. Example, the dance of the lost traveler. Another example is how Baroka fails to construct real line in illusionly. Then there is another dramatic device is the play within a play. The instances are the lost traveler play and the dance of the lost of manhood. Another stylistic device is the use of dramatic irony. There are so many ironic scenes in the play, and they are, number one, it is an irony that Baroka that prevented rail tracks from passing through illusionally. We'll be having a postage stamp machine. Another example is CD makes frantic effort to mock Baroka for his impotency, but ironically, she ends up falling into the trap of the corny Baroka. Another irony is the wrestling contest scene in Baroka's palace. Baroka is regarded as a weaker person, being an old man, 
and is able to defeat his opponents. The victory of Baroka in the wrestling contest is symbolic to his winning over CD. All the above highlighted and many more are effectively used by Shoyinka in passing, out, passing across his message to the audience. Thank you. But before I go away, let's look at the summary of today's lesson. Number one, we have discussed the plot structure of the play. Number two, we have analyzed the themes. Number three, we have been able to analyze the play writes a style of writing. That is the language, use of song, biblical allusion, flashback, dramatic irony, and others. Now, for point of reference, you can Google www. Braves. Bridge greater than study guide. Thank you.